uh, name's Richard Summerton, uh, 43 year old from uh, Melbourne, Victoria. Uh, yeah, here on the beautiful Swan, uh, just taken out uh, this round, Swan round of the uh, Hobie Kayak series. So, uh, pretty stoked actually. Yeah, um, I think the uh, first day was just over uh, 3.7 kilos, uh, which was a you know, pretty it was a cracking bag. Um, and then today it was a bit of a mad scramble at the end, but managed to upgrade and get to about 3.22, I think it was. Well, okay then, well, first, uh, first off in the morning was uh, straight up to a little flat that was draining from between some racks up in Pelican Bay and uh, it was just case using a crank of shallow there in that colour and just, just working it across, just twitch, twitch, twitch and pausing it and uh, yeah, it was working quite well um, got my fish, I think, uh, pretty early yesterday and then just as I was leaving it I thought, oh, we'll get out of here I was actually fishing with Ben Harrison, I took him up there and just sort of showing him around a bit and uh, managed to grab a, grab a nice upgrade on the way out but I just wanted to leave it for today, basically and then, uh, yeah, so each day, that was again this morning, straight up there, straight into it again. Um, ben actually backed off and gave me a bit of space for a while. So, uh, yeah, until I got my bag and I said, it's a free-for-all now, go for it. So once I'd finished there, it was just a case of just moving around. Um, I went to a couple of spots today and there was people sitting in a lot of them. So it was a little bit hard. And I went up to some racks, lost a few crabs in, in the racks, just got smoked numerous times, even tried to let them free spool and get them out, out but they just buried me too deep. So uh, yeah, and then it was, uh, so each, each afternoon it was just back, uh, just up to the rocks there and there's a bit of a channel on the other side of everyone sort of sits around the main rocks but there's a drop off in a channel. And then yesterday I pulled a 1.2 out of there and a couple of small fish and then Today, I, I think my bag weight was only about 2.8. When I came there, I was I needed an upgrade. Got a couple of small fish, around 800 grams, and then um, all of a sudden, clunk, went there, another 1.2. So that was a 400 gram upgrade, which was handy, which uh, pretty much got me the win. And uh, yeah, so that was it in a nutshell, really. Yeah, well, this, is, this one's uh, Duff Rods. It's got little micro guides on it. Uh, it's all these high sticks models. Um, this is quite handy with the crabs. I like to keep a reasonably high rod tip and just, just hop them, just lightly. Um, so a nice long rod and uh, yeah 7.2 so yeah it's, uh, it's got it's also um, sort of softens the uh, sort of the head shakes from the fish as well and I just all run them with uh, just the, old, the older Daiwa Surtates there with the probably first model with the mag seals but um, yeah they go real well and uh, a little bit of uh, Sunline PE and, uh, and this one's a bit more of a bit stiffer rod and I use it for twitching twitching and pausing so uh, yeah seven footer um, cast a dream actually yeah once again teamed up with a uh, surtate and uh, yeah it's a high sticks rod uh, one to four kilo so yeah that's about it they're good rods so uh, I've just well qualified again for the grand final in Queensland this year so uh, it's gonna be interesting up there on the elephant again I've done okay on them in the past I've had some highs and lows on them as everyone everyone has but uh, yeah they're um, uh, it's going to be a, once again going to be a great event. I hope he puts on a damn good show. They're, uh, it's fantastic. I'm sure the arena will be uh, be good, and uh, and the Queenslanders finally get a uh, home grand final, so they'll be excited. Uh, Chris Burbage, Furniture Gully, Victoria. Uh, just fished the Swan River down in Tasmania and managed to pull off a second position. So pretty happy with that. So I came down here. Um, I fished it well, probably about four or five years ago, and found fishing drop-offs and stuff like that so I thought well that's what I'm going to do and just buddy that's all I went I went looking for drop-offs uh, throwing a little double cl double clutch here and uh, in the deeper drop-offs I was throwing that vibe this morning I well each morning I'd start off just fishing a, a shallow drop-off so it was probably three foot to four foot so I was just casting that in a little double clutch I'm not too sure the um, the color of it what what it's called um, tricked it up with some decoy hooks because they're nice and sharp and strong um, just cast it in crank it down and then some pretty erratic rod tip work then pause then some more rod tip work and they're, they're just coming up and grabbing it so I'd do that for about the first hour and a half and then I'd, I'd move up into this uh, deeper deeper zone um, which has got some racks next to it but it's a fairly deep channel um, just throwing that up against against the edge of the the um, the drop off uh, right against the racks and then just hopping it gently down down the slope so not ripping it or anything like that just a nice gentle lift um, they'll generally take it as it's coming back down sometimes I take it when it's on the bottom and 
the rest was history, yeah. So I'm running duff rods. Uh, this is a, a one to four, um, a one to four duff rod, um, seven foot long. Um, I'm trialling out a, a new Abu Revo. Been great little reel. It's got a high retrieve ratio and some great drag settings in there as well. Um, this is a, a rod I had uh, Steve at Duff Rods do for me when I went to China. So it's a two-piece. It's a two-piece rod. <laughs> and it just comes apart here rather than the normal join which is in the middle um, so it just still feels like a, a one piece rod um, and that's a one to three kilo uh, and a dial alluvius uh, both running uh, Sunline PE uh, eight pound and um, uh, running six pound litre uh, fluorocarbon it's a um, Varivas litre I'm just not too sure of the, the name of it at the moment but yeah it's just been really good Right, so grand finals up in Queensland. Uh, we're not too sure the exact location, but we know it's Queensland. Um, so it's going to be a bit different chasing uh, some, well, as we Victorians call, some tiny little fish. Uh, we could almost use them for live bait for these things we've been chasing down here because these are absolute horses down here. You throw them back 900 gram fish each day, it's just phenomenal. But uh, yeah, so we're up there chasing the elephant. They're a bit of a, an enigma for me, although I did all right at Foster, so hopefully I can sort of work that pattern out again and do that same thing up there.